Okay, so here we have for sale my 2003 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, it's a double cab, so it's got six seats in total. Um, 5.7 litre V8 Hemi engine, which is absolutely amazing. It's got um, nice race line uh, alloys with massive uh, Toyo uh, chunky tyres on, which look amazing. It's got a lift kit, which uh, is either three or three and a half inches. Uh, it's got wide arches. There's some spaces on the rear wheels, uh, so they just stick out that little bit, just to give it that bit of extra width, because obviously it's not wide enough as it is. Uh, it's the Laramie model, so it's uh, fully specced. It's got leather interior, leather interior, cruise control, uh, all of the controls on the steering wheel. Uh, I've had, you know, my phone plugged in. And, um, it's originally a Canadian truck, so uh, the odometer is in kilometers. So it shows 162,114 kilometers on the clock. Uh, so the outer ring there, which goes up to 200, is in kilometers per hour. The inner is in miles per hour. So um, I have this little GPS, uh, which gives me my miles per hour just to prevent me getting done from speeding. Not that this is the kind of thing that you do do mega speed. Well, I don't do mega speed in it. I just cruise around in it, really, to be honest. Uh, bought it in 2022. Um, absolutely love it. So uh, my my uh, job back then was importing bikes from America, which I still do on the side. And I had uh, a Dodge Ram 2500 in, uh, in America and absolutely love them. Uh, my missus wanted uh, another pickup and we both looked at these and she decided that this was what she wanted. So we found this really, really nice clean one, which obviously had the lift kit and stuff which we wanted, because uh, it looks better. Uh, not for doing any off-roading or anything, just so it looks better. Um, and uh, then she was We'd had it about a month and a half. She was driving it and she came around the corner and someone uh, ran into the side of it and uh, did a little bit of damage down the side, which has all been repaired. Uh, really, really wasn't much damage at all. So, like, damaged uh, this uh, rear wheel arch, for example, damaged the wheel. Um, the, it's all been relays are aligned and like I say the side has all been repaired as you can see it's absolutely mint I'm disappointed that it's raining today because this is the only opportunity that I've got really for uh, doing this video uh, and then she decided that she didn't like the truck anymore because it was too big too big to drive to work on the little country lanes and this that and the other so fair enough so uh, I was then using it and I was using it instead of my van and the reason why I've got a van is to carry motorbikes around. And uh, so what I then did is I then got a winch installed in the back. The battery is now dead. I haven't tried charging it. Uh, it'll uh, possibly need replacing. So there's a winch in the back and I bought a better ramp, which doesn't come with the sale of the truck, but the winch does. And I was winching motorbikes up and uh, traveling, traveling around, not very many miles, a few miles either way, maybe seven, seven miles either way between storage and my workshop and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that was the job and taking the kids to and from school. And so it was amazing, but uh, the bike job's taken a bit of a turn for the worse. And so that's not my full-time job and I'm doing a sales job and I'm up and down the country and at 10 miles to a gallon, I can't afford to run this truck on the mileage expenses that I'm getting paid, so that's why she's for sale. Um, I serviced it, so when we bought it in 2022, it had been serviced by the previous owner. 
and it had at the time 2022 and a full service lift kit was fitted gearbox and rear diff fluids were all changed um, and then that was in the September 2022 um, I've been doing this new job now since uh, November 24 but really before that um, I'd also been doing another like work from home job and I wasn't using it much uh, so it's not done very much so I serviced it January 23 done 158,000 kilometers and if you remember from the start of the video it's just done 162,000 so in a year and three months it's basically done 4,000 K so I am devastated to be selling it it's the best car I've ever owned I love it um, it is a superb superb vehicle uh, I'll show you under the bonnet it's it, it, you know it's a massive v8 it's just what you want i'm assuming it's what you want if you're looking at this kind of thing the pictures don't do it justice really uh, until you see the thing it's uh it's a real head turner it's lovely to drive it makes you feel amazing like i say 5.7 liter v8 hemi it's an awesome k &N induction kit on it. If you're uh, worried about the fuel bills, which I currently am, this is not the truck for you. Uh, because it's been sat for ages, uh, the battery had gone flat and then it wouldn't hold a charge. So I've just put a brand new battery on last week. Um, it um, has had, I put a new exhaust on it as well, MBRP system uh, without a manifold. Um, with the side exits which sounds amazing I'll fire it up now and you can hear it running it is a mega mega piece of kit to be fair towing hitch so you can tow a trailer big caravan something like that whatever you want really it's got a big towing capacity on it uh, bigger I'm sure it's a bigger towing capacity than a Land Rover but you may need uh, extra uh, endorsements on your uh, on your license for that Runs as sweet as a nut. Uh, it did have a, it did have a, a creaky front suspension. So if you have a look, it's had all new like upper arm. Uh, it's just had a new wheel bearing on one side, upper arm on both sides. New bushes and this, that, and the other. That was about a grand. That was. Like May last year, like I say, I was doing about seven or eight miles a day in it. That was it. I know it's a bit of a long video, and I'm sorry about that, but. Uh, if you're interested in it, obviously you can come and view it. But if you're interested in it, you want to know, don't you, that it's right. And uh, it is, it's absolutely bang on. If you're interested in this truck, 
is uh, you will absolutely love it. You do feel like the king of the road. It sounds amazing inside. It sounds amazing from the outside. It's just the absolute nuts, really. As you can tell, it's a beauty. So on the back of this steering wheel here, it is a bit worn. Now it doesn't bother me and I have like treated it with some like leather products in the past. But like I say, it's just really not been driven very much at all. So I mean, I'd probably just keep treating that and you probably will find it'll come back good or get a steering wheel cover or something. This is me being picky with it though, right? really make any difference. go 2003 Dodge Ram 1500 Laramie 5.7 litre V8 Hemi beautiful thing as you can tell obviously I believe loads of people will love this it is, it is a certain person that will love it granted but I flipping love it and if I love it someone else will love it right it's a mega 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 thing any questions, give me a shout.